Hello, my fellow Tubians. So it seems for every one right thing Microsoft does, they tend to do about two questionable things. In this case, or in the case of Windows 11, that was Windows S mode, which I covered in a separate video, and also the fact that they really try to force you to use Microsoft account when setting up Windows 11 for the first time. Well, the good news is there is officially a way to bypass it. And yes, it does not void your terms and conditions or warranty or anything like that. In fact, it's a process that Microsoft kind of hides, but it's their own process. So simply follow the steps I'm going to tell you in the next part of the video and you'll be out with a local account in no time. Once you open up your brand spanking new machine, the first thing you'll prompt it to do is use the Windows 11 setup wizard to configure Windows 11. So choose your region, whatever that might be. Once you've done that, go ahead and choose your keyboard layout and you can add a secondary keyboard if you wish to do so. Now, once you've done all that, the next step is where you're asked to connect to the internet. You can do this either by connecting to your Wi-Fi network or if you have the option, you can connect a wired connection by using the ethernet jack available on your desktop or laptop. Either way, once you've connected it, at this point, you're gonna go to the next step. And this is where the annoying part happens. Microsoft now asks you to enter a Microsoft ID. Don't panic. You'll notice they kind of say, if you don't have one, you have to create one. Don't worry. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to go to the field where they're asking you to enter your Microsoft ID, and you're gonna put a fake email address. In my case, I simply just put something like test at hotmail.com. It doesn't have to be that, but you can totally put that and you're good. Press continue or next. Now at the next page, it's gonna ask you to enter the password for this Microsoft account. Again, a totally random character of text, you know, so just put something like test again. And as you can see, that's what I put. Once you do that, press the continue button in a quick second, Microsoft says, oops, something went wrong. Joke's on them because that account never existed. At this point, Microsoft's gonna say, hey, we can't log into this account, it's been locked. But you'll notice there's a new option. There is now an extra continue button at the bottom. Press this button and you will be prompted just like that, poof, to create a local account like you did traditionally on older versions of Windows. Go ahead and put the real account name you want. Once you do that, go on to the next page. Over here, you can set a password should you want to. It is an optional process, mind you. And then once you're done that, continue on with the process as you would. Microsoft will ask you a bunch of other questions about how to configure Windows. Go ahead with the rest of the setup wizard, give it a quick minute. And just like that, you're in Windows 11 as a local account. Now that's it. There's no other process needed. It doesn't affect anything. You can still use Windows as intended. If you guys found this tutorial to be helpful, you can genuinely help me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. You have no idea how much that helps me grow. Oh, and in case you're wondering why Microsoft is quote unquote forcing their users, well, let's just say Microsoft has started treating Windows more like a service, kind of like Netflix, as opposed to a product. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. I really do like Windows 11, but I just don't like the fact that Microsoft is going towards a more service oriented mindset, but they're not alone in doing this. The good news is that there is unofficially or officially, however you want to put it, a process to bypass this. And it's not an absolutely mandatory requirement, despite Microsoft making it look like it is. So hopefully this helps solve your concerns and problems. If you run into any issues, let me know in the comment section below. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in general. Catch you in the next one.